Hi, it's Mitz from My Life. Mitz, thank you so much for stopping by. So today I decided to do a voiceover because I received some requests for me to actually chat through this unboxing video. If you want to hear or watch the non-chatty version, I will post the link down below to that video. Uh, but yes, I've received some requests for a chatty version or for me to actually uh, talk through the video. I really like this design. Somebody mentioned in the Hobonich group, in the Facebook group, that there is a little notch here for the thumb, so it's easier to open. And I thought that was very thoughtful of Hobonichi to consider that. So you'll notice there there are some items that I purchased for my friend, uh, friend that, that are in the box in the hall as well. The first thing is this beautiful Hobonichi handkerchief. It is called Primavera, and I actually wanted to purchase the a6 version of this cover but I'm not currently using the A6 Hobonichi. I have an A6 notebook but I'm not using the actual uh, Hobonichi and I just I don't know I couldn't get myself to actually spend more money on another cover so I decided to get the handkerchief instead. It is very very pretty and I will you'll see you'll see me open it up. It's just so pretty and I think I will I might even like consider pinning it to the wall or something because it's just really nice to look at. I'm not a huge gardening or like a flower type of person, but it's this handkerchief is very very pretty and I'm very glad that I ended up getting this. I might even I like it so much that I might even consider actually purchasing the cover, but um, that's the handkerchief. The rest of the items in here, the first thing you might notice is the gray A6, uh, what is this one called? This one is called the uh, word, word, the sorry, the wood bird in gray. This one is actually for my friends, so I couldn't open this up, but it is very, very nice. Um, I wish I could show you the detail of the cloth. This one, like I said, I'm not using the A6 Hobonichi right now, but that one really that that cover really uh, spoke to me and I really really enjoyed looking at that cover in person. It's one thing to see it on camera and on screen, it's another thing to actually experience it in real life. This is the search and collect uh, button. I think it's a brass button. It's very weighty which is nice. I actually filmed another video and I used this button for my traveler's notebook and I'll post that video probably in a couple weeks or something hopefully I need I just need some time to edit but it's very very pretty it's very shiny it's very weighty and I am glad that I purchased this button I know there is a search and collect cover but um, I'm glad that I just got the button and not the actual cover uh, I am I'm, I'm happy to be able to use this charm, I guess you can say charm, but the button on different traveler's notebooks and things. The next item is the Hobonichi Weeks. I'm currently using the Weeks for my work. It's a bit tiny, it's a bit squished, and I even considered switching to maybe a B6 Slim in the future, but I couldn't help but purchase this cover. It's beautiful. It is called The Strangers No More from Akira Minagawa, and... <laughs> I don't know why I struggle to open it from the side, even though there is a clear indication of how to open it from the middle of the of the plastic cover. It came with a pamphlet. It's in Japanese. I think if you order the Hobonichi Techo, the English version, it actually is in English. It's a really cute comic about, I'm guessing, a mother and daughter on how to use the Hobonichi or what, what to write in the Hobonichi Techo. And then on the other side, it gives you some ideas on... Uh, what kind of things you can journal about or how to use your Hobonichi Techo. And then there is this yellow QR code card. I'm not really sure what it's about. I haven't really looked into it, but I'm guessing you can meet, read more about the Hobonichi Techo on that information card. And so here is the cover for the weeks. It is very nice. It's a hard cover. I don't know if you can hear it, but for some reason, I thought this cover was going to be like a shiny, a smooth, shiny cover, but it actually has a bit of a texture to it. And I tried to show it on the camera, but I don't want to say texture because it's not bumpy or anything, but um, I'm just really happy with this cover. 
it's it's very very pretty and I'm really excited to use the weeks even though I'm still not 100% sure if I want to stick with this for my work planner but I don't know if you can really tell uh, the small little lines but it's very nice and it's almost so pretty that I don't want to cover it up in a uh, weeks cover if that makes sense <laughs> okay so moving forward I purchased the A5 and this is called the Path in the Dark Green and I purchased the Avec Cousin as well as I'm, I'm currently using the Avec Cousin and I'm enjoying that so I decided to stick with that for 2020. To be 100% honest and I voiced my thoughts in another video as well. Um, I was a little underwhelmed when I opened it. I don't know. I guess I saw a lot of beautiful videos and um, pictures on Instagram and they all look so pretty. And then when I saw it in person, I was, I don't know, a little bit underwhelmed. I don't know if the, the coloring of the notebook, I thought it was going to be darker or more, not vibrant, but more rich. And I, I thought, oh, you know, it's a little dull. I'm not sure. Um, I'm I'm kind of indifferent. I'm a, di a little bit disappointed, but it's still very, very pretty. Um, I end up in another video. I'll show. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I keep on talking about another video, but I end up uh, filming another video, setting everything up. But it's very, very pretty. You can see the different threads and the time that it took to create this beautiful piece. Um, it's very, very pretty and I love the texture of it as well. At the same time, I don't want to get it dirty so I end up covering it in plastic with the cover on cover, but it's a very, very pretty piece. I just thought for some reason that the green would be more rich, like the dark green would be more rich, but I guess you can see on different angles, you can see right there, it's a really nice dark color. So this is, once again, it's called the Path in the Dark Green and it is in the Cousin size. Then I'm going to open up the freebies here. This is, um, if I remember the terminology, I will post it down below, but I think it's called Karta. I'm not 100% sure. I should have uh, prepared before I filmed this voiceover. I just really like the really cute illustrations. They're very quirky and different and... I think I might, I'm not how, I'm not sure how I'm going to use the cards, but I think I may include some in my journal, uh, journal pages once in a while. Some of the illustrations you'll see, I flip through the cards here, but they're very interesting and fun and cute. And I think even if they're, even if you give some of these cards to your friends, I just think it would be really fun to kind of play with that. I think also... I appreciate that all the Japanese kanji have the furigana, which which is like the wording of the kanji in hiragana. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but I cannot read the characters, like the diff difficult kanji characters, and so I do appreciate that Hobonichi has taken that extra step to write the hiragana on them so that I can read them. <laughs> so, yeah, you see these really funny, quirky illustrations. Uh, I just like flipping through them and I will most likely include some of these in my in my techo or in my journals throughout the year. I just have to remember to take them out once in a while. I might even consider keeping them until my kids are a little bit older and then we can have fun playing. I remember when I was a kid I would play karuta with my parents and it was so much fun. Like I would, we would we would have so much fun uh, playing karuta and I really, 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 <laughs> sorry, my son is here. I really, really have that fond memory of playing with my parents. So I hope to do that in the future with my kids as well. So that is part of the freebie as well as the jet stream pen. This year it is in the red color. It's a nice vibrant, like a... I guess you can say it's kind of like a cherry red, but it's very, very red and vibrant. I really do actually enjoy the Jetstream pens. I I have no complaints at all whatsoever, and I've even purchased other Jetstream pens because I, I like it so much. It's just a very basic ballpoint pen, and it just writes very smoothly, and um, 
Yeah, so I'm very appreciative that Hobonichi offers these little freebies. So this is the Hobonichi Techo in the cousin size. Once again, it is in the Avec style, so it's, the year is split into two. The first book goes from January to June, and then the second book goes from July to December. And this also, this one also includes the pamphlet and the yellow information card. I decided to open it up and share with you the, I guess it's called like a serial number, or you can see on the back of the book there is a number. And so I'm just curious if you have a number that's close to me or <laughs> not. I think there's a thread going on in the Japanese Hobonichi group um, asking if there's any like neighbors or if there's anybody that has a similar type of serial number. So I just thought I would share that with you on camera. So that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed watching this voiceover version. If you want to see the quiet version or the version where I'm not really talking, I will post that down below. Stay tuned for the... Uh, set up and everything in the coming weeks. I will do like a stationary Sunday video Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye. -bye.